ATN World News. News and inspiration with Leah Tillock. Hello and welcome to ATN World News. I'm Leah and it's great to be with you, the listener, across the nations and indeed around the world. Today, you're going to be so thrilled to hear who we have. Uh, Many of you who love and adore Christian music will remember the band Petra, and the lead singer was John Schlitt. John has had a tremendously marvelous uh, Christian music career uh, after Petra as well. But let me um, go back a little bit, wind back a little bit. During his career with Petra, The band released two RIAA-certified gold albums, Beyond Belief and Petra Praise, four Grammys, and numerous Dub Awards. Uh, They traveled uh, all 50 states and uh, at least least 35 countries. John has had a marvelous solo career. I've just been playing the Little Drummer Boy video. Y'all run to YouTube after you listen to me. Go to YouTube and go look that video up because Christmas is coming up. I, I adore it. What a voice. He's a timeless voice. With all that, I'd like to say good evening, John. Leah, what what can I say after that? I, I think I'm just going to be quiet and let you talk. <laughs> okay. I tell you what, what I, I mean, what a voice. John, you've had... Uh, a tremendously exciting life, and I think that, like any human, you've been through your own hardships and hard times. I know that you roll with, have rolled with a lot of different things like we all have, but the, the great thing is that um, with the help of Jesus Christ, uh, John has overcome all adversity that Satan may have thrown at him, and he has survived fame. And is still a very humble man. And so, uh, one thing I'd like to ask John is like, um, remarkable career. And I, and I know that there's uh, probably big milestones here with, with Petra. Is there one moment above all the other moments in such a long, wonderful lifespan career that stands out to you above all the others and why? Would you share that with our listening audience? I'd love to, Leah. I, I think, you know, Petra, at one of its peaks, was doing a tour with Josh McDowell. It was uh, it was totally unique. Uh, it was a, a, a renowned speaker uh, playing with a Christian rock band. And basically what we wanted was a, absolutely two opposite poles of uh, what people thought, uh, you know, uh, involved in Christian uh, anything. You know, so uh, during that tour, we did a show in California. And... Uh, and this hall was about 4,000, 5,000 seats. And what was unique about it, it had really wide aisles, really wide. And I, I, during sound check, I said, wow, these aisles are really wide. So it really stuck in my head. Well, when, when uh, um, Josh gave the altar call, which he always did, we always stood behind him and uh, as a support so the two, the two ministries could support. Uh, could uh, join into this uh, this part of the ministry. He gave an altar call, and there were so many people that came forward that night that all the aisles were absolutely packed. And I remember Josh turning around, looking at us, and going, "Oh my gosh!" And that night uh, we couldn't uh, finish our songs. Normally, what would happen is we do the altar call, and the people that would come forward would have there would be a room. Uh, uh, outside the auditorium, and then the people that were waiting, their friends and stuff that might have come with these people that came forward, we would sing a couple more songs for them, uh, and so that way they weren't, uh, you know, wondering what was going on. But in this case, it was so packed that all the rooms filled up, and we actually had all had to get a bunch of different volunteers, and the um, the whole evening stopped right there with watching God work in amazing ways. And that has always stuck. Every time someone asks me, what was one of those times where you just was very special? And, and, and that, that I think said it all right there. It was amazing working with Josh. It was amazing watching God work and using some of the oddest people in the world, i.e. Petra. 
and watch and, and just watching those people come forward, knowing that their lives were being changed right as we speak because they had a loving God who came into their lives. That's what it was all about. That's what it's always been about, and that's what it needs to always be about. And that is that uh, Christ has a plan for every one of the creatures made in His image, uh, made in God's image, and uh, it's our duty to to try to get that message out to Him for for them to make that choice of of uh, eternity. Oh, absolutely. And it's a beautiful moment, and I'm sure that in heaven for all eternity, it will be like a, a beautiful memory. You took your intense talents that God gave you, each and every one of you, and you're throwing down uh, for the kingdom of God to help mankind, to, to help people, and uh, it will not return void. Concerning the music, I, I know that uh, every time probably people hear your name, it's just greatly associated with the music. I know that you're multi-talented. You even do woodwork. And I've seen some pictures on your Facebook. It's incredible. <laughs> well, it's just I'm just very fascinated that you are quite a student of study. Uh, you do your homework. I, I'm just very fascinated with you. <laughs> it's, I love it. Thank you for mentioning the woodwork. It's a it's a uh, side it's a it's a side thing that it's if I'm not touring or not playing, I, I need to stay busy, and it's really a thrill to be able to do uh, uh, projects like that. Honestly, people, if you get a chance to go on Facebook, uh, John does have a few pictures of his fantastic woodwork out there. I mean, seriously, a little side note there that's of interest, because, you know, most people know the main things about John, it's the, people tend to always repost or rename the main things of the person, but I think that a true fan of John will want to know the little things. Uh, and, and this woodworking, you know, is one of them that he's, you know, incredibly talented with. And, um, <laughs> and I, another thing, uh, <clears throat> today, we defend for the truth, we fight for the truth, we still try to get the word out there in an ever-changing society. And yes. that's one thing uh, from what I've gathered looking over a, a lot of John's material is that he presses towards the high mark of the calling of Christ Jesus to get that message out there. Now, for the times that we live in, John, what is your advice for someone who truly does press every day of his life to get that message out? Well, yeah, I think it's absolutely it's the most important thing that we could ever do. Uh, and, you know, I think we were put on earth to do that. I think that uh, uh, we are to press forward and to share the amazing blessing that God has given each one of us, and that is the, uh, uh, the, the, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And, um, and it goes, I, I don't know any other way to live, kiddo. I'm, I'm pretty much a... I'm very excited with the fact that everything that in that we're involved with, Christians are involved with, including politics, including including family raising, including being a good neighbor. All these things should be done in in the understanding of Christ. I think uh, uh, one of the, I mean I, I'm I'm a little political. Let me go to that for a second. Uh, I believe that our system was absolutely uh, given to to us by by God through our founding fathers with the understanding that the spirit of God would guide it. And if there's any problems at all we have right now is that that this country is trying to phrase phase Christ right out of it. And nothing will work without Christ. I don't care what kind of political philosophy, what kind of political anything, it will not work without Christ. And we need to understand it, that may sound simplistic to others, or it may sound just totally out in the in the ozone. But I I I know for a fact that without Christ functioning in our lives every day, this blessed country, the most blessed country in history of mankind, is going to go down the tubes along with Israel, along with Rome, along with you know uh, the old Israel, along with Rome, with all all the big. Uh, the big, amazing uh, uh, countries of the past that were so blessed and then ended up uh, losing it all. Absolutely. I post the news every day, and if I didn't have Christ in my heart, I'd be very depressed. Uh, reading oh, amen. What's happening, uh, reading what's happening to America, a place that I love, that back in the day you were raised to actually love and appreciate your country, 
and flag. And there were some Christian values to really uh, love and appreciate. And um, I, I read the news every day, and I've studied eschatology since I was 10 years old, seriously. And, and I can see the tie-in of what the Bible would said would happen if the nation left God. And mm-hmm. there, there are so many uh, outlandish, and I don't know what other adjectives to call it. I mean, there used to be news, but today what I read is the titles are completely outlandish that you think, well, this can't be happening, and it is. John is up to date on news, and is there one particular thing going on in the news today that uh, maybe touches you more than others that you'd like to give a comment on? Please do. Oh, there's so many things, Carol. I mean, there. Uh, I think uh, abortion is absolutely an embarrassed, not just an embarrassment, a disgusting uh, event that should have never happened under under the guidance of God. That's one of the one of, to me. That's one of the uh, uh, examples of facing Christ out of our uh, uh, out of our country. I think that right now, of course, the the uh, 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 presidential uh, can, uh, uh, runnings. I mean, we have some. We have some good men. We have some good women. I, I'm absolutely concerned about that. I truly believe that the next. Oh, oh, don't get me started on that. I just, I, I really feel that it's very, and very important who who we elect this next term, if if we can last through that. And uh, so it's these kind of things that I uh, that I'm very passionate about. I love my country. My, my the, our forefathers fought for it, and and fought for a country that praised Jesus Christ and lifted him up and cared about people, but, but realize that you, it, the whole idea of our, of the philosophy of our country was you work hard and, and you do your best. You care about others, but you take responsibility. And, uh, I don't know if we quite understand that now, and so I'm I'm very concerned about our next leaders. I'm very concerned about, again, the, the idea of, of uh, abortion and what that has done, and just there's uh, many many different facets that uh, uh, that I care about that I would love to be part of changing or or, or strengthening, but that's uh, you know I, I I guess that's my my focus at this moment. It's a good focus, and I tell you, people, uh, good people need to raise up and make their voice and make a fuss or else you're just going to be mowed over. If you don't stand up, if you don't uh, make a, an issue, uh, a Hitler arises on the scene and owns you. Oh. And so oh. never think you're going, you're going wrong by speaking up and by drawing lines and saying, no, uh, no, we, we do not accept this. I mean, the, the iniquity has gotten this far in America because good people didn't do anything. I mean, a lot did, but not enough. People, I'm telling you, you can't ignore it anymore. I mean, as Christians, we're in the fight. Uh, we're not bystanders. It, some things can't just keep being ignored over and over again. John has always uh, seemed to keep that in mind, that he has cared for other people's souls uh, and has pointed his music and his talks and, you know, his talents towards that. We've got about... I don't know, six or seven minutes left. What What is something that uh, you see yourself uh, continuing to do in the near future, John? Well, Lee, I think that uh, absolutely I, I want to be available as much as possible. I also have a, what, a Josh Lip Ministries that I'm starting to, to really concentrate on, and I think that that's going to be one of those things where um, at you know in my stage of life I, can, I have the time to start helping others. And I don't know exactly how to do that, but I'm uh, from being a spokesman for ministries that you may not hear of, you know, may not be the front line uh, ministries that are out there that, but are very important to uh, working with children. Uh, I just, it's one of those things where I just have a desire to see things changed and th- see things uh, function in the name of Christ. And, uh, that that's one of those things I think that's uh, starting to open up for me, and I, I praise God for it. That's awesome. People, if you want to uh, learn more uh, about uh, John Schlitz, go ahead and, and look him up on the uh, Internet. 
Uh, check out some of his music on iTunes. Um, look him up at his website. There's so much more. And uh, I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your most busy schedule to come and share with us. Thank you, John. Aaliyah, well, listen, uh, you you guys have the pulse of what I believe needs to be heard, and I thank you for allowing me to be part of your program. I really do. No, thank, thank you so much. Until next time, I'm Leah reminding you that God loves you. Oh, how he loves you.